So now that we understand what address are, addresses are, let's look at how the fund transfers actually happen in Bitcoin. And what I'm going to describe is what's called uh, one particular uh, payment mechanism in Bitcoin called pay to public key hash. And the way this works is um, by issuing transactions. So what is a transaction? Well, a transaction has a number of inputs. We'll see the format of inputs in just a minute. And then it has a number of outputs. Okay, so here in this case, we have two transaction outputs. We call these outputs, when they're first created, we call them UTXOs. UTXO stands for unspent transaction outputs. Okay, and that's actually where funds are going to be held. Um, so what the transaction says is how many Bitcoins are going to be transferred to this address and how many Bitcoins are going to be transferred to that address. So you can see the address itself is the hash of the public key. The address here is the hash of a different public key. So H of PK1 is going to get one, one value. H of PK2 is going to get another value. And that's going to be uh, recorded on, on the blockchain. So everybody knows that this amount of uh, funding was transferred into these two addresses. Now, later on, maybe years later, uh, there might be another transaction uh, issued. So far, we've only looked at one transaction. Years later, there might be another transaction issued that basically, uh, and by the way, I should say transaction number one is going to be recorded on the blockchain and can never be removed. Uh, now, once transaction two issues, well, here we have, let's see, we have one transaction input. And again, we have two transaction outputs. So we already know what the transaction output structure here is, right? So we have a value and we have an address. The input structure is the following. So the first component of a transaction input points to a previously unspent UTXO. So in this case, basically what this says is that the input to this transaction is basically the value that was associated with this UTXO. And then there's a signature that basically says, I authorize the value in the UTXO to be spent as an input to this transaction. Okay. So the owner of this address, again, authorizes this uh, spending of this UTXO. And then once the authorization happens, basically the value is provided as input to the transaction and then is distributed to the uh, output addresses um, as specified in the output of the transaction. So just to be clear, the person who creates transaction number two is actually the person who wants to spend funds. Okay, so the owner of this UTXO is the one who creates the transaction. And what he's actually saying is, I want to take the funds in, in the UTXO that I had, and I want to distribute those funds to these two addresses uh, in the amount specified in the, uh, in the outputs. Okay, and then to authorize the expenditure, he provides a signature, and that signature tells the world, yes, I am really authorizing that uh, those funds be distributed. Okay, so the values that are specified everywhere is basically amounts to be paid in Bitcoin. And again, it's important to understand these amounts can be fractional, so you don't have to pay uh, uh, whole Bitcoins. You can pay 0 0.001 Bitcoin if you wanted to, as we saw that before. Uh, and that's, that's basically how funds are being transferred. So what's important to understand is that value in the Bitcoin uh, blockchain is held in these UTXOs. Yeah, Once a UTXO is spent, it can never be spent again. Essentially, the value disappears from the UTXO and you can never ever spend that UTXO. It becomes a spent transaction output and is basically forgotten. Okay, so if you wanted to say transfer money from one address that you own to another address that you own, yeah, you would basically issue a transaction, say that transfers it from one UTXO to another UTXO. It just happens, so happens that you own those of the, both of those addresses. Owning an address means you have the secret key that allows you to sign on behalf of that address. So again, if we look at the example transaction we saw in the previous segment, you can see there are two input addresses here. There are two output addresses. Um, you can see the amounts that were uh, transferred right uh, to each one of those addresses. Um, these are basically pointing to UTXOs that contain the amounts in the uh, total inputs. And again, once those UTXOs are spent, they, are, can, they can never be used again. The addresses can be spent, can be used as many times as we want, but the UTXOs, the unspent transaction outputs, can never be used again. Okay, so that's the idea behind uh, the uh, UTXO model that's used in the Bitcoin blockchain. It's actually quite clever. Uh, makes it makes it so that miners don't have to keep the entire blockchain in memory. All they have to do is just keep the set of UTXOs in memory, and they can make sure that a UTXO is never spent more than once. And all the value in the blockchain network is held in these UTXOs. Um, and again, the owner of a particular address 
is the person who has the secret key that allows him to sign on behalf of that address.